Dry sockets are really scary. We hear about them all the time, especially for getting our wisdom teeth taken out or for getting a different tooth taken out. And it sounds like it could be really painful. And if it happened to you, you probably know that it is really painful. Well, the good news is a dry socket is actually pretty rare. With just an extraction of one single tooth, a dry socket happens about two to 5% of the time. So what exactly is a dry socket? Well, after you get a tooth pulled out, now you have a hole in your jaw because that tooth used to be there. And in that hole, there is a blood clot that forms. This blood clot is basically the start of how that area will start to heal. Well, sometimes this blood clot can fall out and now it exposes the bone of where that tooth used to be. And this is why we called it a dry socket because that socket used to be filled with that blood clot, but now it's an empty socket and it's very dry because that bone is exposed and there's no blood there and it can be really painful. So I'm gonna go over basically what I go over with our patients after we do any extraction because this is not only how you prevent a dry socket, it'll prevent pain in general after you get a tooth taken out. Number one, two, and three are basically what we call the three S's. Do not suck through a straw, do not spit, and do not smoke. Now, other people have varying times for this. I always say at least five days of avoiding this. Basically, what happens when you're doing any of these three things is you're creating a suction in your mouth. And this suction can pull out that blood clot and cause a dry socket. And sometimes we can get some food stuck in that extraction site, and this will be really painful and feel like a dry socket when really we just have to clean out that food that got stuck in there. So the next thing is just to avoid crunchy foods and avoid foods that can get stuck into that socket. So you can imagine like if you're eating popcorn at the movies and a kernel gets stuck in there and now you're digging at it, that can be really, really painful. So at least for a few days, avoid eating crunchy foods like chips and popcorn. And also it's probably a good idea to drink a lot of fluids. Because you can imagine a fluid can't get stuck in that socket site and if anything's in there, it can clean it out. And one thing I always recommend is for the first day or so, so for the first 24 hours, just stick with colder foods. So something like ice cream or a smoothie would be perfect. Foods that are a little colder will be a little more soothing and it'll be easier to take down than a hot piping coffee. Definitely avoid that. And another thing I recommend to patients is to try putting an ice pack there for a couple days. So something like a bag of peas that was in the freezer would be perfect. But after a couple days, you might wanna to switch to putting some heat to your jaw because sometimes your jaw can get sore and stiff, and especially if it's a longer extraction procedure, your jaw is probably open for a while, and now you're just having some soreness there. Some heat after a couple of days can help as well, but just make sure you wait a couple of days before you put any heat there. Now, something else you wanna try is warm salt water rinses. Now, again, you wanna wait a day or so before you do this, but this can just help keep that site clean and prevent any pain. And I would definitely avoid lifting heavy objects for the first five days or the first week. When you lift heavy things, your blood pressure goes up and this can cause more bleeding to that site, and we don't want that. We want it to heal, and we want to wait for that to heal before we lift anything heavy. And my last recommendation is the pain medications. So not everyone needs pain medications. Sometimes I'll prescribe something for the pain, and the patients won't even need to take it. Everything I prescribe for pain is really as needed. But usually for extractions, you can take over-the-counter medications, like an ibuprofen or a Tylenol, and that should be enough to handle the pain. And again, everyone is different, and everyone reacts differently to pain. Some people don't ever want to take any pain medications, and some people will take a pain medication when the slightest bit of pain comes. And sometimes you'll be prescribed something else, something a little bit stronger by your dentist after they do an extraction, but just make sure you only take it as needed or as directed by your dentist. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you liked that video, and if you're gonna get your tooth taken out, good luck, and definitely follow these tips to avoid a dry socket and avoid any pain afterwards. And if you haven't already, please hit that thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel below, and I'll see you in the next video.